The more we shoot in log footage, the more color correcting and color grading that is demanded of us. So today, I'm gonna show you how to create a LUT of your own for your videos for free, so that you can make your post-processing much easier. Hey fam, Mike Kapatid. I'm Mike, and today is a LUT kind of day. Before we get started, just wanna preface that we'll be using DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. As a Mac user and as a videographer in general, I prefer to edit in Final Cut Pro. But of course, you can use any of these video editing programs, whatever you use, but definitely we're gonna start off with DaVinci Resolve. Links in the description for all the resources mentioned. And if you wanna download the LUT that we created today, you can also find that there too, also for free. All right, so like I said, I edit on Final Cut Pro. So this is what our footage looks like. I didn't quite cut up everything, but imagine that I cut up everything for this bridal shower here that we have. And all the footage is shot in S-Log3 and everything is flat. Some saturation, there's details, but we need to bring that out. And today we're gonna make our own LUT to apply to every single one of these clips and see what we can do to adjust for some of these. So we're gonna go ahead and have DaVinci Resolve downloaded and open that up so we can make a LUT for this timeline right here. You can go to the link down below to download DaVinci Resolve, and that's for free, of course. So if this is your first time in DaVinci Resolve, I'm just gonna go real quick that we wanna be on the left-hand tab right here on the bottom called Media. And this is where we're going to import, of course, our media that we're going to reference. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate on the left-hand side here and go through the desktop where I have my files saved. This is our sample footage that we're referencing. It's right here, your files may be somewhere else. I'm just gonna command A and that's gonna select everything. I'm gonna bring it down, drag it down here to the media pool and we'll just click don't change. I don't necessarily like to see the thumbnails here for this project, so I'm just going to hit list view over here. Okay, and I just wanna create a whole timeline out of it. Again, command A, right click, create new timeline using selected clips and we can put LUT. We will uncheck project settings, go to format, I want it to be in 4K and let's make it 23.976. Great, so we have our clips here and this is our timeline. So we'll click on that and now we have our footage here. Let's, uh, let's reference this clip right here. So since we double clicked on that timeline, it brought us to the edit tab. Again, we're not here to do any cutting or any of the other stuff except for color right now. So we'll go over to color and all right. Whew, it's a lot to look at, right? But everything's here. All right, let's make our LUT, shall we? So we have our sample clip that we want to reference here. All right, so before we start grading stuff, let's go right here to the right-hand side and go to scopes. And okay, so after we hit scopes, I want to see waveform. Okay, now that we have the waveform, let's look over here. This is where they call the nodes. Think of it as like layers, okay? So right now, we want to separate each and every part of our color correcting process. So I want to work on exposure first, knowing that that is where our first node is. I want to go over here to our color wheels. And for simplicity's sake, right over here where the lift is, we want to go ahead and bring that down. You know, just bring that down a little bit. Okay, cool. And now over to the gain, we also want to do the same thing and over the, on this ridge here, and we want to drag it over to the right where we can push that. Okay, that looks all right for me. And now let's dial in the gamma and bring that down. And we'll push up that gamma just a little bit more. Okay, cool. All right, so that's the exposure. Now going up here to the right-hand side, I wanna add another node. And we can do that by hitting right-click, add node, add serial. Now this is another node or another layer. And I just wanna go ahead and bring up the saturation. Maybe 75, okay. Looks a little bit too yellow for me, maybe a little bit too green for obvious reasons, it's a green area. But let's change the scopes here on the right hand side and let's go over to vector scope. It does look like a little bit on the warm side. Let's see what it looks like when we bring back the temperature. So over to the left hand side on our color wheels, you see the temperature and let's slide that over to the left. I think that looks better for me. Okay, so now that we pretty much got the basic look that we want here, we can go ahead a little further and start color grading. So I'm going to go over here on the top hand side and add a serial node and I'm going to manipulate the saturation. So over here, right here in the center, you see the curves custom. I want to go over right here in this little icon. It says here, hue versus hue. All right, I want to start manipulating some greens. So we'll use the eyedropper tool. I just picked any point in the image here where that eyedropper is. I just want to see how that looks. Ooh. And then if you go over to a little bit to the left, here, desaturation. And if you go here to the right, you can hit hue versus saturation. I'll also hit that same spot and bring that down a bit. 
what else? Let's go back to hue versus hue. I'm gonna grab this wall. I can bring that up or down. Again, this is all preference, so you feel free to grade whatever you like, but this is the node where you would add your grade. All right, I wanna go over here to the gamma and let's see what it's like if I just add some warmth to the midtones here. Maybe we'll add just a little green to this. Oops, just a little bit of green here. Shadows. I'm gonna bring it back over to the cool side now. I'm satisfied with that look. I just wanna kinda zoom in here and see what the footage looks like. I'm gonna go to 100%. Oh, I see some green in there. All right, for me, it's okay so far. So now that we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this image right here. Hit grab still. Now I just wanna see how this grade applies to the other footage. So let's just pick another similar scene here. All right, so when we hover over this still, it already applies the LUT preview. This is just a preview. To actually apply something, we go ahead and right click again and apply grade. Click this particular node, the exposure node that we have. Let's bring down the uh, the gamma just a little bit, the midtones. I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, grab still. All right, I'm gonna click another frame here. Let's get one with some people. Go over here to our frame. Okay, I'm gonna just preview with our still here. I dig it. How about over here? This one was shot outdoors. It does look a little bit too green, a little too yellow. Let's apply the grade, bring back our vector scope. Just see what it looks like to bring to, to over to the cool colors. Yeah, no. All right, we'll leave it alone. It's okay, it's okay. I just wanna just copy and paste, see how things look. I just wanna kind of preview what the different scenes here. Okay. How about outdoors? I dig it. Okay, I think we're done here. So these were potentially two different LUTs. I mean, I just made small revision. So this really is our most recent LUT that I think applies well to all of these clips. Now let's export. Let's go over here to the clip that we last applied. We're gonna go over here, hit right to click, and we're gonna go over here to generate LUT and hit 65 point cube. Now you choose where you wanna save this. I'm just gonna save it here. This project folder, we're gonna call it bridal shower LUT. All right, let's go back to Final Cut Pro. All right, let's go to our first clip here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our effects tab over here on the right hand side. And I wanna search up and I wanna search up LUT. There it is, custom LUT, double click. And all right. Okay, over here on top, you see that we have a new effect. We're gonna go over here, hit this drop down arrow, choose custom LUT, and then just go to the place where you saved your LUT before. This is ours, hit open. And how does that look? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Command C to copy everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and click the second clip, scroll all the way to the end. While holding Shift, left click the last clip so that we can select everything. And now I'm going to hit Command Shift V. Okay, and I want to apply just a custom LUT to all these clips. Okay, all right. So when I just briefly just skim through all the clips, it should apply the LUT. It should all generally have the same similar look. I did switch different lenses, so that's why some of these clips will have a little bit more contrast than others. Yeah, there are other ways to create LUTs with different plugins like Color Finale for Final Cut Pro 10, but we can explore that another time. For now, if you wanna learn how to make your post-processing even faster with an adjustment layer, you wanna click over here. Thanks again for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya.